All right, today we are going to be making zebra since we are finished learning about the letter Z. So all you need is you're going to need your white paper, your black crayon, and then you are going to need your watercolor paints. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to draw your paper. We want it in front of us the tall way. <clears throat> and right now all you need is your paper and your black crayon. All right, the first thing we're going to do is in the middle of our page, we're going to draw the top of the zebra's head. So we're just going to draw a straight line. Don't make it too long because this is a head. We need room for everything else. Now, we're going to draw a line down on the left side, nice and straight, and a line down on the right side, also nice and straight. They should be the same length. They end at the same place. And now you're gonna draw a straight line connecting those two. All right, so you should have a rectangle on your paper. Now we're gonna draw his nose. So we're gonna draw a half circle or an upside down rainbow from here, down, round and up to here. And for his nose, we're going to draw two little nostrils, so two little ovals about in the middle. All right, next, let's draw his ears. Now, this is going to be a little tricky, so I just need you to slow down with me, and you can do it. So his ears are going to go on the corner, the top two corners of the rectangle. So first, I want you to draw kind of a half or a letter C. It's kind of wonky looking. And now you're going to draw another one coming back the other way. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to draw one backwards half C, one kind of forwards half C. And those are his ears. We're going to draw a line down the middle of each ear. All right. These two parts, we're going to end up painting black, but we're going to wait to do that until the end. Now let's draw our zebra's neck. For his neck, we're going to start right up in this top corner. We're going to draw an angled line down. And then for the second part of his neck, we're going to start a little ways up on his face. So we don't want his neck coming down here. Zebras don't have super chunky necks like that. So we don't want it down there. We want it about up just a little bit. So if you want to measure with your thumb, one thumb up from your line by his nose is a good spot. And you're going to draw another angle line down for our zebra's neck. Make that a little longer. There we go. Okay. Now let's give our zebra some eyes. To do his eyes, we're going to do straight line and a straight line and then a rainbow rainbow and you get to decide which direction your zebra is looking mine's going to look this way but you can make it look any which way so color in whichever way you want his eyes looking all right and now we are going to add stripes because all zebras have stripes to add a stripes, we're going to draw some triangle shapes. First, let's start up at the top of his head. We're going to draw three little triangles up there, not teeny tiny. One, two, three. And they don't all have to be the exact same size. And then down by his nose, we're going to draw two on the left side and two on the right side. One, two. One, two. And then on his neck, we're going to draw a couple as well. So we're going to do one, two, one, two. So I did just four on his neck. If your neck is longer, you can add a couple more if you need to. And last, zebras have a very short little mane. Not quite like a horse, shorter than that. So to draw that, we're going to take our black crayon. 
we're just going to draw some nice straight lines, not too tall. Otherwise, he'll just look ridiculous. So some straight lines up there on top of his head. And then we're going to do the same thing kind of going down. And that is our zebra. The last thing you can do is you can take out your watercolor paints. And you're, all you're really going to need is you're going to need your black. And you're going to want to paint the top part of his ear black. And then you're going to want to paint his stripes black as well. If you don't have a lot of black or if you don't have time to take out the paints and just want to use your crayon or your marker, that's all right. Just try to keep it nice and neat. And the last thing we want to do is we want to write our Z's up in the top right corner, capital and lowercase. And then down at the bottom, we want to write zebra, Z-E-B-R-A, zebra. All right, when you are done working on this, please send a picture to me on Seesaw so I can see how it turns out. But then also save it and bring it back when you're done with e-learning because this is the last page for our alphabet memory books, all right? So we wanna have our letter Z in there for the very end of our memory books. So please make sure to bring it back to school when you are all done. And I will see you next week. We'll be doing some more craft projects, all right? Bye.